What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I have this wall-mounted light unit, and I want to put a new bulb in here, but you can see the way it's angled means I need a really slim bulb. So I need a really slim bulb, which is why I got this. All right, so let's take a close look at the bulbs that I ordered for this. You know, I was trying to be financially savvy and get some inexpensive ones. This came in a four pack. It looks like you could get similar ones in a two pack. Now, I wanna show you these because there are some other ones that are pretty similar. Man, they really uh, packed these in here. But what turned me on about this was um, how long the bulbs were compared to some of the other ones. Now, I'm just gonna say here, right on the outset, it looks like there are five rows of LEDs. And if I take a look at that, actually from the listing that I bought, I thought they had six rows. So this might be a little bit of a swing and miss already, but you can see here, size-wise, they are much thinner and skinnier than obviously regular light bulbs. So let's crack these suckers open. Uh, I think they showed you some stats there. 6,000K color, so they should be kind of a bright white. Uh, E26 bulb, dimmable, nope, I don't need that. And, all right, whoo! They just used some sort of stock photography on the outside because there are six rows of light bulbs. Now, I wanna say that there are a lot out there that were only five rows, which I'm sure are pretty bright too, but you know, why not go big uh, instead of going home? And so, hey, take a look at that, it's pretty nice. Actually, I wanna show you uh, this end too because there are little LED emitters on the top as well. So you don't have it just casting out, you have it throwing down uh, directly out of the bulb as well. Well, I'm gonna leave that in there. I'm not adding that out, uh, Butterfingers. And then you have some kind of milled alloy here. Kind of feels like an aluminum, but it's some sort of like really lightweight metal. Everything is housed in this plastic lens. And then you have your standard light bulb base. Now I'm really hoping, I thought I saw somewhere that this was like, Oh, 1,200 lumens or something like that. So let's go ahead and get this sucker in. I'm pretty excited about trying this little bad boy out and uh, see if it is going to fit my needs. So back to light here, and I'm just going to try to install it, and it's going to be super easy. The nice thing about this, too, is, and I've got the light switch on. Woo, look at that. That is great. Lights up this stairway. It even has clearance underneath there and it is super bright and it's a super bright white light. Now I can put my lens back on here, but the nice thing about this is uh, you might need slim bulbs in a lot of other places that you might not even recognize like light fixtures like this or other chandeliers, but also on garage door units. So here I am with my LiftMaster garage door opener and you can see you can have these light bulbs in here, but because they are set in so close to the unit, the whole thing is pretty compact. You actually need to have a pretty slim light bulb. Now, obviously this works, but like I said, the CFLs are so wide at the base and that's pretty much all you can get. Uh, nothing other than an old school light bulb will work. So that's where I'm gonna try the new one. And obviously it's even slimmer than the old one. Boom, just like that, I've got light, bright white light. And that's all it takes to replace these bulbs. Woo, that is brighter than the old one. I'm pretty excited about that. So that's another obvious application for these slim bulbs. If you wanna pick up a set of these, I'll put a link to them in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.